from Augusta, Georgia, Putt-Putt Golf Courses of America proudly presents the Putt-Putt Skins Championship Series. This is the 31st consecutive year featuring members of the Professional Putters Association in the continuing search to find America's greatest putter. Now to set up the match and call today's play-by-play, -play, here are our hosts, David Lloyd and Billy Packer. Welcome to the Putt-Putt Skins Championship Series and to our host city of Augusta, Georgia. This beautiful Putt-Putt golf course will be the backdrop today for an exciting $18,000 putting tournament. The putters will be playing on the same quality putting holes that have been used at Putt-Putt golf courses for over 35 years. The lakes, the mountains, and the waterfalls certainly add a distinctive beauty to this tournament. Hello, I'm David Lloyd, and I'm here with Billy Packer, and we have an exciting Putt-Putt Skins tournament. Well, we ought to, David. Of course, the money is going to build up each and every hole because if anybody aces and two fellows ace, it goes on to the next hole. So it's a very difficult and exciting format. A total of $18,000, $1,000 per hole, Billy. And like you said, with the carryover, two-tie, all-tie rule, and they must one putt. It's an ace tournament. Two players ace the hole, the money carries over, and we could have $18,000 on the 18th hole. That's it, possible. It could happen, and obviously everybody has to play very aggressively. It's an entirely different type of match. Let's take a look at some of the fellows going to be playing with us today, okay? Great. Jim Palisano, and let's take a look at this name. Cheektowaga, New York. I know it's got to snow up near Buffalo. How in the world do you ever get any practice in? Well, it certainly does snow, as everyone knows, and likes to make fun of it. But we find our way. We definitely do find our way. Well, we've got Todd Barfield, only 18. And, Todd, I understand that you've come down to this course four times to get ready for today's match. Yes, Billy. I've played these holes so many times that I feel really comfortable with them. And if you have a man over here, we talk about the Postal Service always delivering. Randy Reeves, I know you work for the Postal Service. Can you deliver today? I sure hope so, Billy. It's going to be a tough match. Three outstanding players. David, let's get out to that first hole and get this thing started. we Will do right after these messages. An exciting $18,000 putt-putt skins tournament. $1,000 per hole. Two-tie, all-tie rule. They need two aces, and the prize money carries over. Jim Palisano on the tee. Plays out of the Buffalo, New York putt-putt golf course. David, just a straight shot. Playing off the right rail. Very unusual play. Jim Palisano doesn't get it. This is a very bumpy green. We see most of the fellas with a speed putt going directly at the hole. Our youngest contestant, Billy, 18 years old, Todd Barfield on the tee from Fort Mill, South Carolina, high school senior there. Traditional way the hole is played. Watch that ball break and break. Not enough speed to hold the line. Broke away to the right. Opportunity for a skin right off the bat for Randy Reeves of Montgomery, Alabama. We have our veteran pro here being playing putt putt golf competitively for 14 years. Randy Reeves. He's got enough speed on that one to hold the line. Breaking in there. Very good. Excellent touch. Randy Reeves starts it off. Hey, he's skin on the first hole. From Montgomery, Alabama, Randy Reeves picks up the first skin, $1,000. And we go over to hole number two where the skin value is also a thousand dollars. And we can see, of course, the putt putt sign right in front of the putters. Mostly go through the U and the P, which is the biggest opening. This is Randy Reeves. Wide stance, there it goes. All right. Has to get it right. off the back boards, got to get a kick. All right, get it. Could come in there, two for two. Randy Reeves on a roll. And David, uh, interesting, uh, Randy dedicating his play to Russ Maddox. Why don't you give us a little background on Russ's great involvement in putt-putt over the years? Billy, prior to his death from cancer, Russ was the putt-putt golf course owner in Montgomery, Alabama. And Randy was the manager of Russ's course. Also, Russ served on the PPA board of directors and was an excellent professional putter. Jim Palisano misses his ace and leaves it up to 18-year-old Todd Barfield to ace the hole and carry the $1,000 skin over to hole number three. A very impressive young putter from Fort Mill, South Carolina. Get in, ball. Ball Get in, has ball. got a lot Get of in, kick ball. to it. Good shot by Todd Barfield. 
Todd just a high school student, 18, but he's on some kind of roll as a young player in putt-putt. Uh, 87 and 88, South Carolina amateur champ. In 89, he took over the North Carolina championship. So we're talking about a young man really on a mission. Hole number three, worth $2,000. Randy Reeves from Montgomery, Alabama on the tee. Difficult putt, Billy. Playing off that triangle, coming down the hill. Oh, spun out for Randy. Tough break. Just a little bit too much speed. Didn't get a chance to die at the hole. Jim Palisano. He is a senior at Canisius College. Good chance here. Good chance here. Beautifully done. Jim uses that index finger on his right hand to drop it all the way down the shaft of the putter. Todd's got that little knee bend at the end. He's got a chance off the back, but not so. So good job. Jim Palisano picks up a $2,000 skin on hole number three. And he has honors going to hole four, Billy. That proved very, very important in some putters' cases. Very important and very interesting to see the skins coming early. Not much of a buildup. Hole number four is worth $1,000. Jim Palisano on the tee. Notice the index finger that Jim has way down the shaft. Key thing for all of these outstanding putters is consistency. They do the same thing each and every time. That ball was off to the left from the, from the get-go. As you can see here, the ball will drop off the plateau, bounce gently, and then the pin is set up on another plateau. Cut a little bit of a 45-degree angle. That looks awful good. Very good, Todd Barfield has been accepted at both Go Wake Forest Sam. University and Davidson. Well, obviously, spending a lot of time with his books in addition to putting. Very good student. Randy Reeves started 14 years ago in professional competition. Oh, we've got a... Oh, another Wrong skin going. And Let's do five. it, guys. This is what we need. Let's go, fellas. Let's do it. And Todd Barfield picks board. up his Way first in, $1,000. We move on to hole number five, with Todd Barfield having honors. Back rails, in, not quite enough. Interesting to watch Todd, how Run he in, drops Randy. down after he putts each time with his knees collapsing. But he has a very good stroke when he makes contact. Randy Reeves. Again, double bank coming off the back rail. Not quite there. Opens things up for Jim. Good Ooh. try, man. Good putt. We're all on the board. Yeah. That's good. Good putt. You could hear Todd then in the background saying, we're all on the board. <laughs> Nobody wants to be shut out. That's a tough hole. Get there. He's got enough legs at the right angle, but not enough legs. So we're going to move on and hit it. let's build up some cash it. here. Billy, the prize winnings after five holes are Palisano $2,000, Barfield $1,000, and Reeves $1,000. Right here we have that octagon shaped impediment. And then the pin is cut up back at an angle. You'll see it'll swing back off very severely when it gets up near the cup. Todd Barfield missing to the right, and now Randy Reeves. He's trying to, check, trying to check out that reel to see exactly where his spot is. Billy, this hole is worth $2,000 for these players. And watch the ball swing severely when it gets up around the cup. Pretty hard. Not that much. It didn't seem like Randy was... Uh, really satisfied with his spot on the rail to begin with. You can see Jim studying, making sure that he's picked out the right point on the rail for this right-hand bank. Try to bring the ball left of the cup and then have it swing right back in. 
Let's see my mind. Jim really likes him. Maybe a little quick, we'll see. Oh, great. Move on to number seven. And Todd Barfield's back up on the tee first. He has won quite a string of championships in the APA and now is a pro for one year. In South Carolina and North Carolina back in 87, 88, and 89, state champion. He's got enough kicking down. It's going to be way off to the right. Knock it in, Randy. Got a big kick there. Randy kind of surprised that it broke off so much to the right. Everybody plays these holes uh, in very similar fashion we've seen so far with the exception of hole number one. Where Jim Palisano played it off the rail whereas everybody else has played straight. But basically they have picked out the same targets. It's a matter now of execution. That ball will swing. Oh, you can see that. Big movement of the ball to the right. Tough one. Another opening Tough. for Jim Tough Palisano. Right. 3,000, 3,000. This is a $3,000 hole on number seven. And David, of course, none of these down. three have been on TV it's before. So they're breaking new ground in their I got careers. A big kick. He's taking a long time, Billy. He's locking in. Over the hill on the left. Very solid. Slow down. Now this ball may, it's going to have a big swing. Big swing. Yes, sir. That was absolutely perfect speed. It looked Jim. like it had no chance, but a huge swing to the right guys, just because of speed. Jim Palisano picks up his second skin with total prize money now of $5,000, going to hole number eight, worth $1,000. Circular obstacle, very difficult hole here to ace. As we talk about the difference between the skins matches and regular championship matches, this would be considered a potential layup hole. No layups today. Everybody going for an ace. Mm. Tough break, Jim. This is tough. If he's going to hit it that hard, it's got to go right in there. A bit softer putt may be uh, in order. Interesting how Todd has built the grip up on his putter. Probably two, three times the normal size. Oh, gee. Can't be any closer than that. I'm so pumped up. Well, bring the edge of the gun. Mm -hmm. I'm so pumped up after that. Well, I didn't even hit it. <laughs> Billy Todd's talking about how pumped up he was. He couldn't hit that short little putt. Randy Reeves on the tee from Montgomery, Alabama. Picking out a much different spot on the rail. A little bit more aggressive type play. Oh. You can see a very difficult hole. And go, guys. <laughs> if we're in a regular match, as you can see, they'd want to lay up because you don't want to be that far yeah, away. You have the same difficult putt coming back. But in the skins game, too. they're going for the ace. And here on hole number nine, we're playing for $2,000. Finishing up the front nine, Billy, and Jim Palisano is up on the tee. Obviously, this is a blind hole situation. Putters cannot see the hole. They'll try to get it to roll back off that incline on the back, back into the cup. Right rail, here it comes back. Right in the middle. All three of our players today, David, uh, at the top of their game. I mean, we don't see anybody who's not putting extremely well here. It's just going to be a matter of the breaks. Young Todd Barfield trying to get it to go back door, and he misses yep. wide. Now Todd becomes a cheerleader. He wants very much for Randy Rees to ace this hole and tie the skin and carry it over to hole number 10. Randy needs an ace to tie this hole. Playing off the far right hand side of the team marker. Looks good. This looks good. Back. He still got a chance. Not enough. And Billy Randy doesn't. And therefore, Jim Palisano picks up another $2,000 skin, taking his prize money to $7,000 at the end of nine holes. Randy Reeves and Todd Barfield at $1,000 each. We'll be back for the exciting back nine of this 18 hole putt putt skins match right after these messages. Well, we're very happy today at this beautiful course in Augusta, Georgia, to have Mr. Hobson Chavis, who is a Richmond County Commissioner. Mr. Chavis, thank you for coming by. Bill, we're delighted to have you on Augusta, and, and we're delighted to have this tournament. Well, this is a beautiful area of the country, and how about telling those people who may not be familiar with Augusta's location just where we are in Georgia? 
Augusta is located exactly 150 miles east of Atlanta.